Next thing we're talking about, Dave, though, is uh, James Harden again. He's in the news, but uh, more so in the news because, A, um, the Rockets have opened up and said we're looking at playoff contenders. They have talked to many playoff contenders in uh, both leagues, but also the 76ers that's come out has uh, opened up and said, okay, we might be able to trade Ben Simmons for James Harden. Uh, Jake in the MVP Discord just dropped from the Hoop Central on uh, Twitter. The Rockets want Ben Simmons, Matisse, Matisse Thibel, um, and at least three first-round picks in exchange for Harden. Dave, let's start there because that's what we got. Simmons, Thibel, three firsts. If you are Daryl Morey and the 76ers, yes, no, or can we work here? I think there's ground to work. I think that's a that's that's an interesting base to a deal. Um, ben Simmons, Harden, like I get that. You need to you need to add on Matisse Thybul. Um, mm-hmm. The first round picks were expecting to be somewhere in the range of twenty four to thirty. So like the value on them is pretty low. That's why mm-hmm. three is the number, and hopefully that three pushes far enough out because it's every other year. Yeah. Um, that there's a chance that that last one pays dividends as far as maybe that one they could have a top 10 pick or they could have a top 15 pick if Mm -hmm. Joel Embiid is broken and James Harden decides to leave after two years, you know? Like, that's always the hope with these long-term deals a la the Clippers and the Shea Gilders trade for Paul George where they've given up so many picks towards the future that the Thunder were like, hey, if they suck in four years, we have great picks for a long time, you know? So... My guess is, uh, oh, and now there are conflicting rumors, mm-hmm. of course, about no Ben Simmons in this deal. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But I think that uh, Ben Simmons, Matisse Seibel, and two firsts is probably the sweet spot, or it could be a first and a pick swap. Mm-hmm. Um, somewhere in that kind of compensation range, a first at mm-hmm. two seconds in a pick swap, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's my like, final offer. Ben Simmons, Matisse Seibel, a first, two seconds, and a pick swap. And yet again, I'm going to come at this from the Rocket side because the thing that the Sixers do have is they have Daryl Morey on their side, and Daryl Morey is really good at working deals. It's pretty much right now is him and Presti. I would say him and Presti are – I would have well, – if, if they were on Chris my Paul, team – no, I'm saying I'm not saying Maury's better than Presty, Dave. Like, no, I'm Presti just saying like he's he's one of the best. So you got to look at the deals he's made most recently. Okay. Like at his end of tenure with the um, Houston Rockets, mm-hmm. he obviously made the deal to bring in Russell Westbrook because his arm was tied behind his back, yeah, and he was being you know pushed in the dirt mm-hmm. uh, because James Harden didn't like Chris Paul, yeah, uh, and that was just whatever James wants, James gets. Mm-hmm. And then obviously we saw the deal where he helped flip over the entire Timberwolves roster to get Robert Covington, which I think mm-hmm. was a fantastic yeah. trade. Like or he's even had or even the trade, trade he just did with the 76ers to flip Horford, who we thought was untradeable. Sixers and Thunder, and then they've Josh Richardson to the Mavs mm-hmm. to get Seth Curry. Yeah. I think he's had more hits than misses. I don't think mm-hmm. he's untouchable, though. Yeah. Well, no. Is anybody untouchable? Like that's the thing. Dave, I mean, Danny Ainge. I, yeah, <laughs> the war chest, Dave. He's got the war chest. Danny Ainge is untouchable because he doesn't even enter the fucking arena. That's why he's Not untouchable. Uh, like uh, he he's the kid that like you know how we say you miss the shots. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. The way Danny Ainge thinks is I hit 100% of the shots I never take. That's Danny exactly. Ainge. Um, exactly. But, like, for me, if I'm on the Dude, Rocket. We're going you know, to hear after James Harden gets traded that uh, the, the <laughs> Celtics <laughs> offered Jalen Brown, Kemba Walker, uh, 17 first-round picks. Uh, Romeo Langford, and, and Grant Rome Williams. Yep. Literally, their entire oh. roster plus picks and uh, – the Rockets just turned it down, dude. Bunch Rockets, of idiots. Rockets didn't want it. We'd even take PJ Tucker off their hands too. Bunch of idiots. Um, but like for me, if I'm the Rockets, and yet again, if you're the 76ers, I'm going to uh I'm gonna ask this out there, see if you take this. Where let's say Ben Simmons and the picks are the basically like that is the line in the sand. I you're getting James Harden. I want Simmons. I want picks. Would you be okay, like Jake the Sixer fan says, get it down to one first and I'm in? If the Rockets really want three, would you be fine if they said, okay, the num- the first pick in this deal, we just get your pick straight out. The next one, 
is a like let's say the next time we do a more favorable so a pick swap basically for the next two where it's basically the other two we just get to pick swap with you in case you are above us we get the higher pick in the deal basically between the two of us i'm sitting there if i'm the 76ers that is something i could sit at and go okay like i'm only giving you one first i'm still keeping a pick it's just i'm getting back i'm getting james harden so by the time those picks come around i am planning to be lower than you anyways kind of a situation like if they did that should that sway it to where daryl Morey and the sixers say okay let's go maybe maybe that would maybe uh that that might be on something Mm -hmm. it's so hard because i don't I don't know what the fuck, like, what are, what is this magical perfect package that the Rockets are looking for? Like, mm-hmm. why do they think that, like, that one thing will put them over the edge? Like, it won't. Well, let's be honest, it won't. I, I think the only reason they want more picks is because of how many picks they've had to give up. Yeah, like, that's... That's it. They're true. trying to recoup those picks, but at the yep. same time, they're like, well, we those picks don't do it justice just alone because the picks you'd be getting from the 76ers would be, I don't want to say garbage picks, but you ain't getting lottery picks for oh, James the same Harden. Pick. They're, hoping, they're hoping they're the same kind of picks that they're giving up, you know? Yeah, but uh, they won't because you've just given up Ross, and now you're giving up James Harden. Uh, yeah, John Wall and Boogie, okay, put some respect oh, on the motherfucking right. game. John, like, like, what, John Wall, John Wall and Boogie have a chance to get you at most, like, at your highest potential, I say like fifth or sixth seed, but like there's a chance it's like what you're the eighth seed, and then yeah. what that pick that you gave up is a higher pick than what you would be getting down the line from the seventy six. Oh, yeah, but it's in the same range. You know, that's 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 all they're trying to say is hey, and, as long as we're and, in the same range. We're and still, yet again, we're still gotta be able. and yet again, like I'm gonna say this on the one side more than the other. Um, what one boogie injury from that going down because I would say boogie's more of a like, yes, we have the, I have the injury questions about John wall. Let's see if he can stay this year fu- fully healthy first. Um, but like boogie would be the one where it's like, can he stay healthy? Cause how many seasons since that Pelican season has it been like, Oh man, I'm really excited for boogie. It's going to be, Oh fuck. He's injured. Oh man. He's going to come back for the playoffs. Oh, it's really great. Oh fuck. He got injured again. Like that's been the story Wait, of boogie. He played a little, but like we were really gearing up for him to come back and play like major minutes for the Warriors, and it was like boom, another setback. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he had another setback. I think he played in the playoffs for them. Yeah, he did, but it was a he had a minor one that pushed it a little bit, and then he played some minutes. Okay. Yeah, he like I believe someone fact checked me if I'm wrong. I thought he was supposed to come back at the beginning of the playoffs, and then had a minor setback. The point is, Boogie has had yep. setbacks since that injury. Um, with the Pelicans. So it's like, what, he gets injured again? And then it's like, That's fuck. Setbacks. He's had multiple injuries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put that way. He's had multiple injuries yeah. of different body parts. Mm-hmm. Like, when you're that big, that tall, that strong, that fast, mm-hmm. your body's not meant to hold you up anymore. It's yeah. unfortunate. And if you're the if you're the 76ers, I'll say this, because there's conflicting reports. Who are What are you more keen on keeping, Ben Simmons or your picks? Because to me, I think the question's easy. I mean, if if I'm the Rockets, what do I want more? Or is no, that what no, you're no. If you're the Sixers, what are, if you're the Sixers, what are you more? I'm giving up seventeen thousand picks. It yeah, doesn't that's, matter. But that's me. You need Ben Simmons to be moved in the deal. Mm-hmm. Like they won't take. They won't. And again, Jake, I'm sorry. They just won't take your <laughs> trash and Tobias Harris. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. they're not eating a Tobias Harris contract because you feel bad. Mm-hmm. So and, uh, yeah, and like that opens it up. Like the. One thing ESPN said is that they have talked to numerous um, playoff contenders. And, like, you think about it, it's like, could teams like, and yet again, I know we've talked numerous times about, like, oh, Miami's been thrown out there, Brooklyn's been thrown out there. But, like, when they say open it up, could there be conversations to where are the Jazz going to get involved? What basically there's rumors that Rudy Gobert could be traded. Could that be a deal where... The Jazz go, hey, we'll give you Rudy, and we'll give you as many fucking picks as you want. We're fucking getting James Harden. They're Probably a team that I look at. Like, what does Rudy Gobert do for a team who just signed Christian Wood to a big deal? I don't and, know, Dave. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying the Rockets do it. I'm just throwing it out there to see. Like, are they talking with the Jazz? Are they talking with the Mavericks? Who I think would get involved in a heartbeat? Are they talking to a team like fucking like? <laughs> 
I'm, I'm not going to say it. Atlanta would be funny just because it's like, hey, James, you don't have to fly anywhere. You're right here. You're right here. You're right. You're right where you want to be. Like, you don't have to go anywhere. Hell, is there a team like the fucking Suns or like the T Wolves or the Warriors or like, especially in the West, there's so many teams that are in the hunt playoff wise. It's like when they say they've talked to many playoff um, contending teams, are there any that we haven't necessarily hit that this opens up the door to? Uh, I mean, we, we kind of ran through this list and we kind of, I feel like we kind of hit every team of like who they would and wouldn't trade to, but mm-hmm. if they are getting more desperate, I mean, maybe they do open up. Hmm. Cause like the Mavs are one to me that I look at. I seriously do. I look at the Mavericks because we just mentioned in the last one, or I did, they've got Luca, they've got KP like, Yet again, it seems like they just got the complimentary piece though with Josh Richardson. Would he have to be included in the deal? You think? I think so for cash to work. I think. Okay. Well, Tim Hardaway Jr. You could could no, go. Let, let me pull. I'm gonna pull up the Mavs and try to work something out. But like the the problem is that team doesn't have necessarily the young star that mm-hmm. they're looking for. That was again that was a verbiage. And again, like yeah, Tim Hardaway Jr. is now on the Ben Simmons level. He's he's much worse than Tobias Harris even. Or I guess on par with Tobias Harris because contracts, you know, even everything out. Mm-hmm. Um, um, it's very tough. Let's see. Yeah. Very tough to try to figure out how that would work out for them because it just doesn't. Yeah, I still like the yeah. Clippers. I think that would be fun. Suns don't need them, don't want them. The I Kings mean... are a dumpster fire and could do it. That You know what? That's the one where I'm like, wildcard team, I know they're not a lock for the playoffs. Is Buddy, he- could... is Buddy healed the young star? I mean, he's in his prime. Mm-hmm. Uh, like he could like a healed I would fucking even throw uh Harrison Barnes in that deal. What heal healed Barnes and picks to try to get uh James Harden money. over? What'd you say? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Because here I'll yeah. pull, I'll pull up the I Kings think the I'll pull BI up the deal with New Orleans. I think the Kings and maybe a buddy healed plus deal uh could be interesting. I think that uh, the Clippers could do something interesting. Like the T Wolves, I know Cat D'Lo fun party, but like I would give up Anthony Edwards and whatever the fuck else they wanted in a heartbeat to get James Harden. Mm-hmm. Like you're already not playing defense, you might as well just let him have fun. And that would at least that's like the Jimmy Butler move though. But it's like, yeah, it gives you the best chance to win, but you might not like how it's how winning is done. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that one actually. I like that the most. Because if I'm Memphis, I'm not doing that to my team. Mm-hmm. San Antonio is weird just because it's polar opposites of personality. Like, and James. Yeah. How w- could that work? They don't have any, I mean, well, we like some young players on their team. I don't know if I'd call any player on the team a star yet. So with the Kings contract wise, if you're going to try to work a deal revolving around Harden going to the Kings, Yep. And then Buddy Heald and Barnes going to the Rockets. Um, with the salaries coming in, Barnes and Heald are actually about 4.1 greater than what would be heading out. So if you're the Rockets, you would have to rem- you would have to also give up about um, 4.1 in salary. Well, that's the thing. I thought about PJ Tucker. He's at 7.9. So that means the Kings would either have to throw in like a Tyrese Halliburton, like not doing it. They would either have to throw in like a Tyrese Halliburton or maybe would Rashard Holmes work there or would that also be too much? Let me see. Let me throw PJ back in. Rashard Holmes. Yeah, that wouldn't work because then the Rockets would have to get like Holmes is at $5 million to where it's like basically I think for contract either a third team to alleviate something from the Rockets and uh or you're getting pj tucker you're trading tyrese which i wouldn't want to do from the kings well yeah the problem is like they would probably want mm. yeah it's either buddy Hill barnes and you find some filler somewhere mm-hmm. uh to come back or it's you know a deer and fox or a bagley one of those two guys being involved mm-hmm. instead and like if they're ready to give up on bagley that's fine i think you can still get your buckets um, but we haven't seen him be healthy, so who knows what his value is. They'd still have to go about four picks, though. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the problem with that deal. Like, you know, we're talking about Ben Simmons and maybe, like, 
two first rounders and then some, you know, a, a swap or some seconds to mix it in. Like if you don't have a Ben Simmons caliber, you're going to like four first rounders uh, and pick swaps in between. Like that would be a massive sacking of Sacramento. So that's the problem. I've got, mm, I've got one that may work. So you're going to have to wait until after till the end of December to pull this deal off. But I don't know. It might be enough to risk it. If you're the T-Wolves, yep. do you throw this package along with picks? Probably. Rubio? So Rubio, Jared Culver, Anthony Edwards, Naz Reed. Because then you're looking at it from a rocket side. You're getting Ru- so Rubio, who yet again, the thing is, though, can him... Can him and John Wall play together? Like, can not one of them play pairing, the two? But... Not great. Or is it like, hey, okay, Rubio runs our second unit then. Yeah, I think um, that works. Jarrett Culver, who, yet again, young player who still has some upside, some people believe. You're yep. getting the number one pick who, yes, I think he's a bust, but there's some out there who don't think yeah, so. Yeah, you just let him go, yeah, I'm out there. Yeah. And then you're getting Naz Reed for contract. Like, you need like a 1.5, 1.3 to make it work. So it's like either... I threw Naz Reed in there just because, like, fuck. They might want McDaniels. Yeah, they could. They could do so. McDaniels is McDaniels is one point nine. You also have uh, like Rondé Hollis Jefferson fits that. Jared Vanderbilt, uh, No, uh, uh, Noel Cook, uh, Charles Brown Jr. One of those guys, basically. They really want McDaniels for the upside. So okay, then I'm gonna put. They're hunting now. They're 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 hoping for a young star here and the possibility of a. Edwards and mm-hmm. Culver and McDaniels yeah. all, you know, one of those three guys should be something. Yeah. So the deal of whatever. So because of McDaniels and Edwards, you'd have to wait until after the 29th of December yeah. to make it work. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. That's, that's two weeks. Yeah. Like yet again, if you're, I think that's actually, could you imagine that team? What cat Harden and uh D'Lo? Oh, Kogi and Beasley. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You still got Jake Lehman out there to fucking mm-hmm. play some wang defense. Wancho's still there. And mm-hmm. Davis, bouncy rebounder. I mean, yes, you got a little depth issues at the, but you could make it work. You got to, yeah, you could make that work easily. Again, yeah. I think that team would be much better off if they flipped. And again, this is a, this is a dumb move, mm-hmm. but it's their best chance to win, I think. Yeah because I think that their timeline is so fucked up because cat's already on his big contract. Like, mm-hmm. and Dilo is on his big contract. So you're just like, how do we fade? How do we make that third star happen? You don't want to wait years for Anthony Edwards to figure it out or Jared Culver to figure it out mm-hmm. or Jaden McDaniels to figure out. You can go get a superstar. Why not? Yeah. Give me, give me two first two swaps, Rubio, Edwards, Culver, McDaniels. Wait, James say, Harden. That, say that one more time. Two firsts, mm-hmm. two swaps, Rubio, Culver, Edwards, McDaniels. Yeah, no. That Like, for the T-Wolves, like, fuck it. Does, like, that, does that pan out for money? Yeah, it does, because it's the same players I used. It's, okay, uh, I was, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Rubio, McDaniels, Edwards, and uh, um, Culver oh, right, all yeah. work contract-wise, and then what, you're Perfect. saying two picks and two swaps. Yep. Which would fucking work. I'm trying to work. deal. I the one, idea. the one that I thought of, and yet again, I don't know if this is a playoff contender. Um, fuck, I would still need to cut about three hundred thousand. So, let me find one really quick. Fucking sure, you're you're a rookie that I can throw in. Yeah, this is nowhere near the T Wolves deal. But if you're the Rockets, what about if you the Spurs call up? Mm-hmm. You get Demar Derozan, who can play with uh, John Wall yeah. and Boogie right That's- now. Yep. Lonnie Walker, Keldon Johnson, Trey Jones. And then whatever picks the Spurs want to throw in there. Like those are three guys where yeah. Keldon Johnson played well in the G League. Yeah. Lonnie Walker has played well, like actually in the NBA, and Trey Jones is a rookie point guard who can play behind John Wall. And can maybe learn from John Wall, question mark. Yeah, I don't know. But if That's you're the bad. but if you're the Spurs and some picks, obviously. Yeah. If you're the yeah. Spurs, do you want to give up picks, Walker, Johnson, and Jones? DeMar, you're willing to give up anyways, because I think that 
we're all for. But if you're the Spurs, do you want to add James Harden to the Spurs? The problem is, is like, what does that do for the Spurs? Like, then their lineup, you know, is DeJounte, James Harden. Uh, question. I've heard, I, I got to look at the Spurs fucking roster right so now. So, what? It would be uh, DeJounte. You've got Harden at the three, might be Rudy Gay, or is Rudy Gay at the four? Um, Devin Vassell is also on that team. How Vassell much is he? Great. Ooh, I want yeah. Larry. Uh, how much like is like how early is he gonna get in that starting uh, he role? He already looks like a stud. Yeah. Uh, just saying, I called it. <laughs> um. So what? Dejounte, Harden, Vassell, then uh, what? Rudy Aldridge, Gay and Aldridge. Aldridge. Rudy Gay and Aldridge. Aldridge, Jaka Pertle, like. Either yeah. Or. Derek White. Uh, Patty Mills off the bench for the guards mm-hmm. to fill in, and then yeah, you got. A little bit of wing depth issues with Rudy Gay being your only real and Trey Lyles, I guess. Mm-hmm. Drew Eubanks showed a little bit last year at the backup five. Yeah, you know what? That's not a championship team, but that's that's a that's a playoff team in the Un- last. Event. Unless, and this is the only thing I'll throw out there. Jonte Murray got a whole lot better overnight. Unless instead of Keldon Johnson or Lonnie Walker, if you can throw in Derek White instead. That way, it's like you have like. Because Derek White, more of like the point guard side, or at least he's listed on the, the depth chart. Yeah. Um, like, but then you can try to keep a Keldon Johnson, keep a Lonnie Walker, who might fit more of like. Then yeah, you no, might not have wing depth. I could move Kel. I could move Lonnie and Derek White and keep Keldon. Mm-hmm. I think preferably if I was a Spur. Those I would rather. Do you think the Rockets on. would be okay with that though? Would that I think be- Lonnie's got star. I think Lonnie has some interesting potential. I don't want to say star potential, but he's mm-hmm. got explosive potential yeah and Derek white just a very good you know above replacement level player mm-hmm. so again like a package centered around rosen who is a aging star now mm-hmm. and then lonnie walker who you could try to mold to be a future star <sighs> yeah it's tough it's not as good it's just it's, it's not, just as, not good as, as good as ben good. simmons like if you're good ben simmons, simmons you're ben simmons. ben simmons package and the t wolves package that we assembled are both yeah. really clean yeah, I like both of those. Fucking T Wolves, T Wolves, give me, give me the uh, the GM job. I'll make the deal done by tomorrow. He has flipped that whole roster <laughs> in a matter of a year. I think that man deserves a fucking bad, like bad yeah. old med- medal of honor. Medal of honor, you know? Dave. He's get, he's getting a Nobel Peace Prize from the NBA yes. for uh, yes, for his should. work. You um, flipped the T Wolves roster in a year. Mm. Yes. Absolutely. And with the Spurs, the last thing I'll throw in there is for me, it makes oh, sense for Harden because. Said. LaMarcus is your team D like is your team leader. So Harden wouldn't have to step in and be like the leader or anything. And you have a guy like pop who it's either going to go one of two ways with pop him and Harden are going to clash or pop can actually work with Harden and make it work. Kind of a situation. Pop takes him out for a glass of wine. They, they discuss <laughs> things over dinner and mm-hmm. uh, hopefully everything goes good. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it works better with uh, Harden and pop than it does with uh, DeRozan and pop right now. Doing great there. Get the fuck out of here. No, but the whole thing of like he wants out of town is what I'm saying. Yeah, the they're not going to win a championship. <laughs> he grows into the last year of his prime. So he wants to go play for a team that can win. Good point. You, that, you they're they're right. on other ends of the fucking uh, spectrum there. They're, they're, they're just trying to make things work. And for the memes, someone's got to come up with an Atlanta trade at some point. Yes. Just, just, just for the memes because there's no Vegas team yet. John um, Collins is the centerpiece of that deal. Yeah, John Collins. Do you, a, do you throw in Cam Reddish on that deal? They would probably ask. I would give him Kevin Herter. I would give him uh, DeAndre Hunter. Fuck but it, I would Dave. not give up Cam Reddish. Fuck it, Dave. I'll do it. We'll do it right now, real quick. All right, all right. One, one more. Uh, one more. The problem is, like, John Collins, he already got Christian Wood, as we talked about earlier. Uh, mm-hmm. Christian Wood's cool and all, but John Collins is just better. Yeah. No, you're right. Deal with it. So you know? Harden heads over. Um yep. We're going to put, you said John, John Collins. Collins. Where's, John, uh, where's John Collins? There Jan is. God, Collins. He's, he's only making four mil right now. It's the last year of his that. deal. Yeah, he hasn't they, signed that new deal. He's signed an extension. Yeah. So you said John Collins and Kevin Hoda. Yeah, that's a, that's a centerpiece of the deal. And then they got contract filler from somebody. Shit. So we would have to clear. $32.5 million to make that deal work. Um, sh- uh, Tony Snell. Oh, Clint Capella can go back home. Tony Snell can be in that deal. Are you sending Clint Capella out? 
Yeah, I don't want him back. Okay, I but, mean, you know, I don't think they want him back either. All right. though. This like, deal. Yeah, this is a three team deal. Yeah. Is it a three team deal? Would it have to be? Uh, Clint Capella. Clint Capella goes yeah. to the. <gasps> what team, Wait. Dave? What team, Dave? Rudy Gobert, Clint Capella, and the and the Rockets in a three team deal. All right. So I'm adding the Jazz. Clint Capella goes to the Jazz, Dave. Yep. Where does Rudy Gobert go? The Rockets or the, the Rockets? The, the Rockets. Rockets. Why not? Um. This is just this is a travesty on air. Like I don't know why we're making this a whole long segment for this one, but I'm yeah, just gonna have fun. The, ro- the the Rockets would have to give up two point three mil in that still. They'll figure out something. Yeah, I had I had it working. Fucking Gerald Green can go over to the Jets. Nope, still fail. Oh, player uh recently yes, signed. That's it. So this is this is the nightmare train of James Harden deals. <laughs> would not would not be able to happen until after February because of Gerald Green or find someone else. But basically you'll let two point five is what you're working with. Rockets get Gobert, Tony Snell, John Collins, and Kevin Herter. Hawks get James Harden. Jazz get Clint Capella and Gerald Green or the two point five salary need more than that. from the they would Rockets. Need, they would need yeah. uh some talent from uh, the <laughs> from the Hawks. Hawks, probably. Yeah. yeah um, multiple works. first, obviously, going from the Hawks to both the uh, both the Rockets and the Jazz, probably, because uh, Jazz are downgrading. You know, going from Rudy Gobert to Clint Capella. Oh wait, it's all over. What a shame. Uh, sweet. Oh, they're not trading Ben Simmons. So yeah. Daryl Morey has said they're not trading Ben Simmons. He is an important part of the future. Okay, then I don't that, believe. That kills the first part, but whatever. We're 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 workshopping trades otherwhere uh, for James Harden. But uh, Dave.